Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another video of SpaceX updates. In this video, we will see the latest static fire test on Booster 7 and SpaceX's Hakuto R Mission 1 updates. Just a few hours ago, SpaceX just completed another successful static fire test on Booster 7. We could see a lot of improvements on this test. Let me talk about them one by one. First of all, it was the first time that we saw a fully loaded LOX tank in a static fire test which was exactly what Elon said would happen. It was a clean static fire that lasted for about 13 seconds but definitely not 20 seconds like Elon said. Without Elon's tweet, it's hard to know how many engines were fired. Another major improvement we saw was that there was no concrete debris raining down on the launch pad like last time. The Fond Egg did its job perfectly. The fire suppression system under the OLM also looks to be doing a great job. Many people don't realize that the Starship launch system will be a great engineering marvel in the history of mankind. If today's testing got the benchmark they were looking for, next up is the static fire of all 33 engines. How about that for a show to watch? SpaceX is now targeting, tomorrow at 3.39 am EST for the launch of iSpace's Hakuto R Mission 1. The lunar lander has already been encapsulated inside the fairing. The Falcon 9 first stage booster for this mission, B-1073 will be on its fifth flight and will lift off from SLC-40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. After stage separation the booster will attempt to land on landing zone 1 instead of a drone ship. As I mentioned in my previous video, the weather is looking great and teams are tracking with no issues for the launch. Well, that is it for this short update video. If I have any new updates, I will make a new video. Thank you for watching.